much should a guy earn for you to date him? Over 500k, close to a million. Over 500 kg? I thought she'd gone on about a weight then. You know? Jesus Christ. <laughs> close to a million. If he doesn't, I'm not gonna say yes. Do you hear me? How much should a guy pay for an engagement ring? <laughs> an engagement ring? Need a car tires to go around one of her fingers. You know? And he had his first tires that he stole back. 500. He gets paid every year. 500. He saves that towards the ring. If he doesn't, he's going to get a no and it's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> she's sexist. Just saying she's sexist. Thank you. You're welcome. What would you want his income to be? What kind of oh. range would his income be? Um, like 300,000. Um, what? Oh, my God. This is mental. 300,000 a year. Where did he get these numbers from? These are f***ing deluded. Absolutely deluded. That's like me saying I want my I want my girlfriend to earn 200 grand a year. It's, it's ridiculous. Bull chill out. What? 500,000 dollars. <laughs> oh, is that funny, is it? F off. 150, maybe to two. Right, and what are these doing whilst the men are earning all the money? I don't understand it. What are they, what, what's their jobs? What do they bring to the table? Oh, they do only do they? Interesting. So what they actually bring to the table, I could actually get the table for £10 a month. Crazy. My old dartboard was Ooh. terrible. Insert picture there. You all told me to go out and fix it. Road to Q school starts now. Uh, how much was it you say? Uh, £80, but... 80 quid for a dartboard? Oh my, supreme dartboard. A supreme dartboard. Mad. On a reel, let's get a few more gifts in because I kind of want that now. Cough. That wait. Oh, that's fake. Oh no. No, no, play do no. Oh, that's a nice coat. It's not even a coat that one. Is it a body warmer? Oh, it's a jelly. Yeah, jelly. No. Mad. Oh, mate, the ground's coming up. I did saxophone solos to songs that don't need them. Honestly, I really want to learn an instrument. I'm gonna learn the piano. Do you know what song I'm gonna learn, chat? I'm gonna I'm gonna learn a romantic song so I can sing it. It's not Tora. It's not Tora. Chat, imagine I imagine I came in with a piano and I did this. What would I do without your smart mouth? So good, man. It's gonna be so romantic, but you need to learn it. Dad. It's not Tora. Right, chat, how can you call me Tora if I don't vote for Tories? How's that possible? I'm gonna make you an offer. And it's the only offer I'm gonna make. I'm not gonna negotiate. I'm gonna oh. go and give you $100,000. I want 50%. Yeah. You know why? Because you don't know what you don't know. Honestly, do you know what amazed me about Dragon's Den and Shark Tank? Like, I'd, I'd just love to go to like Peter Jones or Stephen and just say, hey, listen, just show us your bank. Just show us your bank. They've got millions. No. Look, yeah, and you can't give up 50%. Well, yeah. Matt, I'm so, it's not a company. It's Alexander's say, discussion with Kevin. Kevin, if, if I gave you 50% of my company, right. it would be doomed. It's mad. So do you. Okay. Chat, if I had millions, I wouldn't live here, would I? Would I live that with that on my ceiling? No, I wouldn't. I zoomed in. I don't even have a door handle. Look. I've got no door handle. I don't have a handle. That's how I open my door. I don't even have an handle. Come with me on a private jet to fly back to London. For this trip back home, we decided to fly with Aston Sky. And let me tell you what the service Aston was. Aston Sky? You the check-in went that? very, very smooth. I legit looked down and realised I was standing on a wine cellar. That was crazy. The jets outside looked sick, but I had no idea which jet I was getting on. I enjoyed a nice mock-up before my... Get on a jet! To Tore it. Going through this is impossible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That one. <laughs> oh, Sky Sports. Yeah, I've seen this now. Yeah, I'm sneaky. It's poor referee, and that's what it is. You know nothing, you're dumb. I know your mum is one fat, mate. Do you know what? Sulfur education and health. Yeah, well, guess what? I can add, mate. One plus one. This is fat fighters. Ten stone five. <laughs> And the f 10 stone 5 and the f rest. 
I was reckless drinking every night and getting high. Nothing there behind my eyes. I was numb inside. And I can't believe that I even stayed alive. Till you walked up in my life. Now, I think the song already is describing he was down, he was out, you know, he was Tyson Fury round 12. But then this person's walked into his life, you know, male, female, they, them, you know, uh, canine unit, attack chopper, swarm, right, battery. The, all, all these things add up. And when this, let's go with, let's go with non-binary, just so we're equal, walks into him, her, they, them, him, life, then it has changed theirs, his, hers, they's, Life, the same. Sorry. Why are people actually saying I'm going out with Casey J? Oh my. I'm, honestly, I'm just going to block him. I actually can't. That is. See you later. 2.1 million. What questions you've got about me? What's the most unusual thing that nobody knows about you? That is a boring question, I'll be honest. I'll go for a different sort of question. What team do I support? Manchester United. You ever been to any games? <laughs> <laughs> that was quite good to be fair. Honestly, this is, I wish it had come back. Wayne on the list. Shut up. I am Sue so, Ann. Um, I ain't letting you in. No, but yeah, but no, because if you don't let me in Blazing Squad, we're all going to give you beatings because I've actually met them already anyway, actually, down at the Radio 1 Roadshow in Western Super You remember it was the time I got by Chris Miles and Hayley Everett reckoned she saw Jim Wayne because he doesn't see. But anyway, I have met Blazing Squad and they said I should definitely come backstage and see him and do him. And anyway, I do know them because I'm their sister. And if Rowan Gordon says I'm not, then don't listen to him because everyone knows he's mental because he won't charge his knob through him as a main old letterbox. <laughs> Such a liar. Shut up. <laughs> I won't tell you again. You're not coming in. All right, lads. <laughs> One at a time. <laughs> Get our cigarettes out, please. Has got to be. Come fly with me is unbelievable. This is mad. How's she not getting stung? I used my heat thermal gun to look through the floor to see where the bees were. It showed me that this hive was going to be a big one. Once I started cutting the floor, she, she I stepped did on a bee there. She must have done. Removal. I did this. She stepped on a bee here. Look. I analyze. used my heat thermal gun to look through the floor to see where the bees were. It showed me that this hive she was as going well? to be a big one. Once I started cutting the floor, I didn't have one defensive bee in my face, and oh, that's man. when I knew I was gonna do this removal unveiled. I started looking for the queen, and I Neil can't do it because of his arm. The devil is happy for me to take it because I used to be a stunt rider. It rhymes with stunt. Well, we know that's bollocks. Is it? Because I can show you a DVD of me leaping over five lorries on Blue Peter if you like. Years. Okay, okay, so. Years ago. <laughs> I got one off the cleaner when I was twelve. Was he good? Came out last week. Completed it. What about this? Championship manager. Completed it, mate. You can't complete it. Yeah, I know, but I got so good at it that the FA offered me a role in the England setup. Did they? I took Woking from the conference to the Champions League in six seasons. Stuff like that doesn't go unnoticed, Neil. The country I had a bit of bother. What, from locals? Nah, a cow. It charged me, so I had to knock it out. One punch. Nice. Mm. I had to leg it, though, because this mate saw what was going on. And no word of a lie, they stood up on their hind legs, started throwing milk at me from their... You shouldn't see any new Mizzy videos for a while. Oh my pranks... god, I actually forgot about him. So has been in court over posting clips like these without people's consent. He's been banned by a judge from using social media and can only use it to send messages until he's sentenced next month. Oh, get in there. Oh on. my god. I got me sound on. I got me in the back. Hey ladies, you watch Pimp My Ride? No. Man, I'm telling you, it's so sick if I could get this boogie on Pimp My Ride. Get that Kim Westwoods to strip out the inside, yeah? Put in a Maserati engine, fit it up with the fattest tyres, and then install one of them special hydraulic suspension so that the whole machine really bounces, yeah? But unfortunately... Matt, cheer the five, brother. Chase, cheer the prime, The vehicle is the property of the UK Aviation Authority. OK, the pussy wagon has arrived. Out you get. I get to just cruise around. I don't got to walk nowhere, you get me? I just like to drive my buggy, man. It's the coolest. I'm telling you, man, when the lady sees me in this, they're going to think I'm the coolest because this is like the ultimate fanny magnet. You get me? You get me? You do get me? It's of paramount importance that you get me. You get me? You have me got good. He's brilliant. You want to see the original, which stays between us in the stream. This goes nowhere else. You want to see the original? What do you do and how much do you make? I'm a scaffolder and I make about three grand a week after tax. 
three grand a week. 12 grand a month. It's 140 grand. 144 grand a year. Oh, Aussie dollars. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the conversion rate is. I paid a hundred pounds for this. Cheers, Callum. Okay. Hello, Matty. This is Cal the Dragon, the social media influencer himself. Um, unfortunately, you're apparently a girl. <laughs> the social media influencer himself. Himself. Chat. Should I? Should I go to? Uh, should I go back on camera? Let's go. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it is me. Um, unfortunately, you're apparently your girlfriend's car passed the its MOT for the fifth time this month. Oh dear. Five times. <laughs> what? Times though. Wow, that's incredible. Um, yeah. Yeah, just keep yourself um, keep yourself happy and uh, believe in you, mate. Um, big up, Darksy um, and Coco in their new track. One I want for my, for my birthday. Know what I'm doing out on Grottingham cameo. the 12th of August. Yeah, good luck with your new song, guys, and I uh, hope it gets uh, number one. You related to Ronan Atkinson by any chance? Um, I've yeah, got loads of messages on Cameo. I hear that you receive a lot of hate. Um, Why people about, message me? You know, certain things. Um, it must be hard for you, but um, you need to keep your head up, keep going, never give up, mate. Don't let people put right. you down. I'm on there, I And think. if you ever see a girl, drop this drop line on her. Oh, here we go. If you're a snowflake, I've fallen for you. Uh, I hope it's not Man United. If it's Man United, if it's not Man United don't really care. You what? Go on then. Hey, better what you got? Belly goal. <laughs> what else you got in there? Nice picture of Anfield. Lovely. <laughs> packet, little packet of sweets. You will have them. Hold it up. Oh, look. It is. Oh, that's actually quite nice, that. Turkish oh. club, that's really nice. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I am so excited to announce that I am now officially an Elga. No free sponsors here, oh, love. Lord. Oh. Oh, Nuno Tavares isn't there. I've had a batch of your drink mixed. Okay. Here it is in a bottle. Cheers, Cheers. then. Uh, you go first. Does it taste good? I like the taste. That's chalky <laughs> and quite bitter. <laughs> this is one of your products. Ah, oh, the apprentice is. I applied for the TV show First Dates. You see, in the last year, I've only been with. My hand. But that was about to change because I sent First Dates this video. Hello, First Dates. It's me, your ideal male candidate, Mikey. At a staggering five foot eight and a half, this athletic fire crotch will have you wondering how all that personality fits in such a conveniently sized package. With a 95% fist bump accuracy and a wide vocabulary, Mikey's friendly, fun, friendly, and he's got a great memory. Perfect for young professionals and available right now. Often described as a progressive modern man, you may kiss the bride. Shouldn't that be her choice? His hobbies include talking about your interests, taking credit for other people's farts so they don't get embarrassed, reminding you to stay hydrated, and speaking in third person. I still haven't heard back. That's got that. I've been a deep sea diver for 12 years. After this what is I discovered, sick. I'm quitting my job for good. I've seen a lot of upsetting and even unexplainable so things So good, look at that. This is the rarest flavour of Prime ever, <laughs> and I'm going to let you try it. Already been opened, just for like you know. First, oh, all right. Yeah, I need I... honest. Don't say oh, cause oh, okay, it's I. I want honest opinions on that drink. All right. I do like a bit of pina colada. But you mate. haven't tried it yet. Yeah, <laughs> but I should give it a go. Sorry, JJ, but it smells horrid. <laughs> I hope it tastes better than it smells. <laughs> Put it that way. Here well, we then. go. <laughs> it's not like pina colada. JJ, you've let me down, mate. <laughs> it's not horrid. There's just no coconut there. There's no rum. Well, it's There's... not alcohol. Pina colada, it's no, got rum in it. It's not alcohol. Yeah. Apparently. It... Oh, what the f? Yo, Bro just ripped the sign poster. Like, what did Lady Gaga do to you? Ra, 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 ra. I know I get it. <laughs> Cheers, boy, you okay, mate? Yeah. <laughs> I was born this way. Down there. 
You were born the wrong way. Hold up, please, yeah? You... When you get petty after a breakup, I hope I never have a breakup because, you know, <laughs> apparently they're not very nice. Keep that then. Well, she can have it during the week and I'll have it at weekends. <laughs> Does that work for everyone? No, not for me. I believe that maybe we'll have to do some sort of changeover through either you or a contact centre. Fine. Well, OK then. There's another thing as well I just want to say. You've literally had I've one? I've got a pog that I gave to him yeah, ages ago. But I didn't actually give it, I lent it to him, that I actually Didn't really affect me, that. What part? Because I knew it was coming. This is shiny. Your I lent it fit. to you ages okay. ago, and Jed, I really wait, I'll pass it, I'll pass it on, mate. Alabama to execute a man using method never tested on a human. Goodness, what are your thoughts on this one? In four days, the state of Alabama is going to put to death a man using an execution method that not only hasn't been used, but never even tested on a human being before. The method is called nitrogen gas, and it will be delivered directly to the inmate through a face mask. It's a method that has not been approved by scientists or doctors, but instead elected state officials. Inmate Kenneth Eugene Smith will be executed on Thursday, January 25th for his part in the 1988 murder of a preacher's wife. Prosecutors say a preacher paid Smith and another man each $1,000 to kill the man's wife because he was in debt and wanted the insurance money. Smith's attorneys have filed a federal appeal to stop the execution from happening, stating that Smith would be subjected to an agonizing death and it would be a violation of his constitutional rights. In fact, in 2020, the American Veterinary Medical Association advised against using this method in animals because it was highly distressing and cruel to the animal. The state of Alabama is changing the way that they do. What? Well, how, how is it killing them? Gas. Hell. Yeah. Yeah, that, no, that's got to make human rights.